Boston. Ian Lewis here today. We are doing some camping. We wanted to go to the mountains, but the road was closed. The road over there is the road we were going to use to go camping in the mountains. Suddenly, it's closed. one really good one we have a new friend there's a dog somewhere over there and he licked the whole screen so I'm gonna clean you now light is beautiful we're having an amazing sky with clouds completely clear which is something that does not happen very often here in Santiago and there's some snow at the top of the hill almost every condition is amazing so far I'm pretty sure we are going to have some nice images today and a great camping night. It is going to be a very cold night, but really good one. There is our new friend. Good night. How can I explain this? I am in. If I move one inch, I will keep falling. I just fall from over that way until here. I'm fine. <laughs> Shit. Bad news is that my stick is done. One more thing. Whenever you go camping and hiking, always bring another person that can save your ass. <laughs> Thank you, bro. You're welcome. It was such a long way down. Maybe in the camera you cannot really notice it, but it's a really long way down. Okay. arriving we're in the last part of the hill right over there is the top it's been such a nice hike how long more or less two hours yeah kind of. yeah really cool uh 
bit. Once a while with the backpack a bit dangerous because of the snow uh, that melt was a bit muddy, but it's awesome. I mean, look at this view we're having so far. Right now the sky is literally amazing. I haven't seen too many sunsets like this around Santiago. The city is right over there, polluted as always, but it, it has its own charm, you know? I mean, it's Santiago. We will arrive for sunset, so let's see us in the top. need okay so this is the thing right now the Sun is hiding between those clouds I think that in more or less five minutes where the Sun will be below of them or we are gonna have an amazing red sunset that's gonna be just stunning so we are currently looking for a composition there's a lovely light in the mountains behind me but but I'm having some problems with finding a proper composition. I mean, the background, the mountains in this situation is looking great, but the foreground and what could be an eventual guiding line, I haven't been able to find anything. I have some problems with light. Not sure if we are actually gonna have a sunset because it is, it is getting covered by the clouds. So far this is the best composition I have found and still it's not that good. Moreover, we're having one <laughs> quite big inconvenient. Sun is completely covered by the clouds. And there's one more problem that there's rain coming. So I might not be taking this image because I probably want to do the... No, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna set everything so it's ready to take. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna pick up my stuff, plug the tent, and if I see the light coming, I'll be back to take the image. Yeah, that's a good plan. Let's do that. <laughs> that's thinking, you know. I didn't go to build the tent. <laughs> it's just that I found a scene here which is uh, very powerful. It's very dramatic. And I will take an image of it right now. F13, one sixth of a second, and I will do bracketing. Guys, almost the whole light is gone, but this right now would be something like the blue hour, but instead I will be introducing to you the black hour. Look at this. some nice dinner and we also took some uh, photographies of the city while dark and now we are in the tent ready to go to bed we'll probably have some talk because it's not that late and tell some stories any story you would like to tell Enric? it was not a nice dinner it was a really bad dinner yeah it was a terrible one <laughs> we 
we had an inconvenient. Uh, the hour, the chilling hour changed. And I don't know how it affected yet, but I know that it made it harder to wake up. Moreover, I think we were exhausted and I had a really bad night between the cold. I had to change some of my gear, like my sleeping bag. Woke up like a hundred times last night. So, what I'm trying to say is that I miss the sunrise. <laughs> I'm sorry about it, but still, there's a nice and lovely morning, and as we are already here in the mountains, we will take the opportunity and go taking some pictures, maybe one, two, and then we have to go down. for a while so far and I gotta say that this place is chaotic you know it's such a hard place to find a composition even though it's beautiful it is hard to find a composition which makes it a big challenge but in between all of this I found this image and this image is more of a personal style and now that the seventh season of Game of Thrones I'm gonna call this little tree which is standing above everyone else Jon Snow, yes, he will be Jon Snow, the king in the north because he's at the top of the mountain standing above every other tree well, being in the snow so let's go for this image it will be, I'm gonna take this image f3.8 one eight hundredth of a second and ISO 100 different from what I'm used to take but still is I, I, I think I like it it is time for me to go back wake up Enric do our tent pick up all my gear and go down the hill because in about three hours there should be a rain coming and when the rain arrives the game is over so if you like this video please remember to like share and subscribe and one more thing do always remember my friends Go nature, go raw. See you next week.